through gymnastics. I'd spent 10 years as a, a gymnast going through the national stream level and then international stream and um, difficult sport in its own right and retired at the ripe age of 16 and <laughs> was looking for, I guess, another sport to do because I felt like I'd shortchanged myself and I, I loved being an athlete, I loved competing and I wanted to take part in another sport. I desperately wanted to go to the Olympics and that was a, that was a huge carrot dangling in front of me when the Olympic Winter Institute approached me and asked me uh, whether I'd be interested in becoming an aerial skier. And it was very, I think, forward thinking of them to think about recruiting ex-gymnasts who have this amazing acrobatic ability, um, seeing that we don't have a huge population of strong skiers in this country, to recruit them through from gymnastics, teach them how to ski, let's see if we can make some aerial skiers. And that was their thinking, and um, I was a bit of a guinea pig. So I put my hand up, well, they asked me, and I said, you betcha, I want to go to an Olympics. And um, two years later, I started skiing for the very first time at 17. And at 19, I was competing at my first Olympics in Salt Lake City, uh, where I finished eighth in the finals. So very quick progression. It, it proved that the thinking was correct and very smart, that gymnasts, yes, can be turned into aerial skiers if they learn the skiing part. Um, but getting back to the, you know, comparing us on an international stage, I think these days, particularly in, in certain sports in, in the winter disciplines, I think um, other countries are taking us very seriously, and they should be, because we're dominating snowboarding, half-pipe, border cross, aerial skiing, mogul skiing, lots of disciplines, and ski across, that, you know, 20 years ago, we, we for instance, weren't. But now, people are taking us very seriously. I have a Finnish husband, and um, Australia topped the medal tally in front of Finland after Vancouver Olympics. So all the Finnish people were cl claiming me as one of their own. <laughs> so can you, can you fathom that, though? Australia, a sport of summer sports, you know, not traditionally known for its strength in winter sport, topping the medal tally above Finland. But I'm sure, Lydia, like Jenny, you were humble in your victory. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You didn't rub it in at all. 